So hello everyone, um, I'm Rachel Lowe, my video is not working today so you'll just hear my voice but I'm here with Joanne Glinsky at the end of week one of the Physiotherapy Management of Spinal Cord Injuries course. Hello Jo. Hi Rachel, how are you? Good, thank you. So, hello to everyone. Uh, great to speak to you at the end of the first week. Uh, just a, a quick chat to see how it's gone this week and what we've got in store for next week. So I see there's been, we have nearly... Um, nearly 2,000 people in the Facebook discussion group, which is great. Um, so there's been lots and lots of discussion going on in there. Um, tell us all about what's been happening in the Facebook discussion group. Uh, Lisa and I are really enjoying the Facebook discussion group, and thanks to everyone that's participating and, and putting in all the great comments. We've had um, a few threads this week, the first one being the introductions, which has been fantastic, and to see all of the different people from around the world and, and where people work, and to look that we've got a great mix of more experienced clinicians and junior and student clinicians. And then the pressure also thread, that's been a really interesting one to watch. There's been um, lots of discussion about what people think is important and how people think that physiotherapy does play an important role in pressure ulcer management. Um, also in the Asia thread, there's been lots of um, questions about, from people about different aspects of the Asia and Lisa's been answering quite a few of those. Um, yeah, it's been a good week. Um, Lisa added another thread later on in the week. Uh, look, asking people what they've learnt and, and contributing and it seems that people um, were enjoying the health essentials mod modules and the um, principles of management modules as well. That's great, it's, it is, it, I have to say it's amazing to just sort of read through all those introductions and see all the people from around the world that are taking part and it's great to see everybody talking to each other in there and learning from each other, um, especially around these particular discussion points that you and Lisa have put up there this week. So yeah, it's an amazing, uh, amazing week for the course so far. I don't think we expected so many people on the Facebook. At first, uh, everyone was posting their own new thread and so it was becoming hard to to, to keep sort of keep keep up with what was happening, but now people are posting um, to each discussion point. It's it's getting easier to follow all of the different things that are going on. Yeah, I think that's a really it's a really good point you bring out. If if everyone when they watch this video, if they can just um, t try and take on that point, and when they post to the Facebook discussion group to post their discussions, their comments in in the particular discussion post that Lisa has put up so that they're not starting new threads so that they're just commenting on the existing thread. I think that will really help to organise the discussion group and help us to um, have sort of more cohesive discussions I suppose. Yes I agree I think that's really good. Great so what have we got in store for everyone for next week? We've got a really busy week next week. We've got uh, four topics that we're covering through the week. Um, we're starting off with assessment and looking at assessment of people with physiotherapy assessment of people with spinal cord injuries in terms of impairment, activities um, and participation. Um, we're then looking at goal setting and looking at the different levels there of injury and, and what are goals people can reach with different levels of injury. Um, we've then got a really interesting uh, lessons on upper limb function, looking at uh, incomplete injuries and tinnitus, and probably one that's going to be uh, really good is the wheelchair mobility uh, lesson. Um, it's looking at different wheelchair skills, and there's lots of uh, videos to watch and lots of interesting things to learn in that, in that lesson. That sounds great. It sounds like there's quite a lot in store for everybody next next week, but I guess um, not to be overwhelmed by it, there's only it should only take around three hours of time, um, lots to get in there, but I guess now that everybody's been through week one and have done that, some lessons on the eLearn site and are used to the discussion group and where they can find things on Physiopedia, I imagine things are going to get quite a lot easier next week so that everybody can just focus on their learning. I think so. Even though there's a lot of different topics, the, the lessons are only short. And if people are struggling with the amount of content, if they just stick to the physiotherapy pages rather than going to the links uh, on the uh, to the other modules in the eLearn, um, they'll get through it. Uh, of course, if they're really interested, they can go to all the links. Yeah. If they start with the physiotherapy pages, they'll they'll definitely get it all done. I think that's you bring up a really good comment. Yeah, I think. Um 
it's re we've we've said a three hours for each week and that's how long it takes to go through the physiotherapy modules and just to contribute to the discussions but it's so easy to spend so much more time um, doing things so yeah so if people are motivated they're more than welcome to spend as much time as they like doing it but um but not to be overwhelmed by trying to read everything and over and doing too much so it's really important that they stick to the key tasks that we've set them and then only go on to the other additional things if they really feel like they want to learn more or have more time to spend that's right. I think that's that's great. And if um, people in the Facebook discussions, we've been getting lots of uh, uh, sort of observations and comments about people's clinical experience. It'd be also great to hear in the uh, Facebook discussions about from people about what they think of the lessons and new things that they've learned in the lessons. And doing this might help people with less experience um, become more able to participate in the Facebook group. Yeah, great. Well, it's going to be an exciting week next week. Um, I can't see, you can't see me today, but I will see you in Facebook next week and hopefully we'll have another busy week and I'll speak to either you or Lisa at the end of next week. Fantastic. Thanks, Rachel, and I hope everyone enjoys, uh, enjoys this second week. All right. Thank you, Joe.